I struggled to get this Hatsun air tact spring powered brake barrel air rifle off Lil Rack, my son. He loved shooting this thing. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this is a budget brake barrel air rifle, the Hatsun air tact. And I've got to say, it packs quite a bit of a punch. I would definitely use this for some close-up pest control. Rats, definitely, absolutely. A, a ideal little cheap rat buster, without doubt. Back garden plinker, it ticks all the boxes, if you ask me. Right then, let me throw out a few specs on this little thing. So, this is the air tact from Hatsan. This one is in 177 calibre. You can get it in 22 and 25 cal. The stock is what Hatsan are calling an advanced polymer with an integrated pistol grip, as you can see, and it's sort of like a thumb hole affair going on. Overall length is 44.7 inches or 1,135 millimetres. Barrel length is 14 and a half inches or 370 millimetres. Weighing in at about six pounds or 2.75 kilograms. Got fiber optic sights, the True Glow green fiber optic sights, which I love. It's nice to have an air rifle that you don't really have to put a scope on. Just use the sights, that's cool. And these sights work really well. Now, as you can see in the footage, we are just using this with the sights, no scope on this rifle. So not done a target because it didn't really warrant a target with open sights. You don't really do that when uh, you're using a scope. But you can throw a scope on if you want. It has got a dovetail and Picatinny there. So you can use both. That's one of those like combination rails going on there. But no, this little rifle is pretty good. It's perfectly ambidextrous in every sense. So the stock is ambidextrous, all synthetic, as you can see. Feels tough, you know, it feels like it would take a bit of a beating. Got a bit of a recoil pad going on there, a butt pad, that's like a hard plastic. Got a texture, bit of a texture going on there. Then, like I say, the pistol grip, really comfort comfortable. Got like these finger grooves in, I like that. It's comfortable, trigger's not too far away. Everything's pretty good. It's got an automatic cocking, sorry, an automatic safety when you cock the gun, but you can uh, put that on again if you want or take it off or whatever. So, but that, every time you cock it, that'll engage. So that is really, really cool. The, this part of the action is sort of covered with this polymer. Um, so it sort of gives this whole bit here like a polymer feel. You've got a bit of texturing on the pistol grip there and on the fore end. And then here's all the metal work here. It's got um, Hudson's logo, logo there. Edgar Brothers, who bring, um, well, who used to bring the uh, Hudson Air Tax in or Hudson guns in. It is now Sportsman Gun Centre here in the UK. Open sights, like I mentioned, True Glow open sights, fully adjustable there, and the rear sight, and then there is a shrouded front sight in the red. Really do love fiber optic sights. I'm a big, big fan of them. That is not a silencer. It's more of like a, a muzzle, they call it a muzzle device, um, and it assists with cocking. So it's something a bit better, a bit more grippier to sort of grab hold of. I'll cock this thing. It does have an anti-bear trap, which I'm going to try. <gasps> Brace yourself. No, trigger's locked and that safety is off. So it's locked the trigger, which is good. Well, that is cocked now. Let's have a look at the linkages. Everything seems pretty solid there. Nice solid bar going on there. Uh, let's just show you a bit close up. Yeah, everything seems pretty rock solid. No wiggle, no wobbling, nothing really sort of rattling or anything going on there. 
Obviously, rifle barrel, if you can see down there. Oh. Just about. So there's your rifle barrel. Yeah, everything's solid. It's a solid little gun. Polymer, stock as mentioned. No sort of weak points or anything. There is a bit of flex there, but it is what it is. This is cocked. I need to remember that this, this is cocked now. Um, no pellets in it, obviously. There, you can adjust the trigger slightly, I believe. Um, plastic trigger guard there. I'm not going to pull the trigger because this is a, a spring gun. It don't do them any good if you're not, you know, you're dry firing them when they're cocked. It really don't do them any good. There's your take down nuts. If you want to strip, strip it down, take it out to stop. Cool little rifle, guys. Cool little rifle. You know, if you, you are after a back garden plinker or a gun for close up pest control, you know, uh, rats, pigeons, you know, you're not going to sort of obviously push out to like 50, 60 yards with this thing. But, you know, if you've got pigeons on your lawn or whatever, you know, and you've got a rat problem, this thing is going to do the job. And I'd sooner have something like this than say an air pistol or something you know obviously you've got to bear in mind where it's legal to shoot stuff with air, air pistols um, as in live quarry um, but yeah a gr an ideal little pest control gun cheap pest control gun that you can you know if you've got a rat problem you buy one of these you clear the rats you just throw it in your shed you know for another year or whatever it's one of those guns where you, you it doesn't really matter you can just chuck it Spray a bit of WD-40 on it, chuck it in the corner. If you don't use it for a year, it'll still be all right. I was using h and Field Target Trophy with this rifle, and I was shooting my little gong, as you can see in the footage, and just blatting tin cans. This thing was great, great fun. Sights straight out of the box were pretty cock on, actually. Talking of the box, this is the box that you get. That's a standard cardboard box. Serious solid impact. Let's have a look what you get. I'm opening this totally the wrong way around. Yeah, I was better off where I started when I... What did you get in the box? Well, not much. You just get your rifle, which is in the um, plastic there. And then this is your manual here. Let's get rid of that. It's just like a warning thing. You get your manual with all your sort of do's and don'ts and um, oh, you, just your general safety stuff, how to load, how to adjust the sights, etc., etc. But no, guys, what a cool little gun for the money. You can't really go wrong if you are after a cheap, and when I say cheap, I mean just cheap as in um, cost. Cheap, one of these will cost you, I think they're around, I don't usually sort of say prices because prices price get out of date. But for under £150 here in the UK, absolute bargain for a, a nice little uh, back garden plinker, or like I said, up close and personal pest control gun. Absolutely cracking. What is not to like? And it does look cool. It does look cool. I mean, throw on a little scope. It's pretty sort of tactical. You could get this thing looking pretty sexy. You know, you guys, you haven't got to spend a fortune on an air rifle. This thing, you know, if you want some budget shooting, this and a couple of tins of pellets will see you right for some serious fun plinking. I'm going to leave it at that, guys. That is your rack and load review and closer look at the Hatsan AirTact, a budget brake barrel air rifle. It's a Springer, it's great fun and rats beware if you've got a rat problem because this thing will seriously take some rats names. I'm sure it will. Thanks for watching guys, that is Rack and Load. See ya.